Hello, friends. Good morning to y'all. Let's praise his name every day, even at 5 o'clock in the morning on Saturdays. Let's praise his name, guys and gals. He is the way, the truth, and the life. As I mentioned almost every day. Have you heard that one yet? The way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me, as he says in John 14, 6. So let's not follow the crowd, guys and gals. Let's follow Jesus. Not, not, let's not follow the crowd, but Jesus. Can I please turn to Exodus? Exodus 23. Take it on to get there once you know your Bible. And I should have already been there, but don't take it on. Exodus 23. He is in control. 23, 1 through 2. Let's praise his holy name. Hello, good morning, there, Philip Pay. Good morning to you, brother. Hey. He's a faithful servant of Christ right there. He loves the Lord his God with all his heart, all his soul, and all his mind. But if I'm going to say that a little later, God is amazing. The Paul's forsaken, prestigious. Uh, you doing against early old Curly Hitchcock? It's all about Jesus. It's about old Curly. It's all about him. Does here. It's a little kitschy. Lord Jesus Christ is in control. Exodus 23. Thou shalt not raise a false report, but that not, but not, hold on. Thou shalt not raise a false report, put not thine hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause of to decline after many to rest judgment. You know, please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all focus on you and not this ungodly, sinful, temporary world trying to manipulate us, trying to confuse us and distract us away from you, Lord. And it will, they will control us and they will, and this, this world will destroy us, Lord, because the devil is in control of this world. He is the prince, the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, Lord. Help us to seek you. You are above the world, as you say in John 16, 33. Be of good to your eye, have overcome the world. Help us all, Jesus. Please help us to focus on you and your word, Lord. Every single day of our lives, Lord. Guide us and direct us. Keep us safe. Keep me safe as I travel tomorrow night to uh to uh West uh West Nashville. Get up and might possibly get a room because I gotta get up and be at the orientation at seven o'clock the next morning, but you could you could call me every time we get a Mercedes and I just cancel all the other plans, Lord, but you know what I mean? please Jesus help this Mercedes job go through where I can get the permanent Position, Lord, and I have this temporary work that I've been doing forever and ever. Same 19, 20 years I've been doing construction work, Lord. Please, Jesus, help me get this permanent job at Mercedes, Lord. Please help them call me soon. But let me work this shutdown beforehand, before then, and if not, what, whatever, Lord. It's on your hands. Jesus, please help me have. Provide for me, Lord. Keep me safe and everything I do. Help me be able to get where I gotta get on time. Help me be able to do what I gotta do, Lord. Jesus, please, this morning, but please help me, Lord, as I preach on your word, Lord. Your word is the most powerful thing in the world. The grass with the fire of faith of the word of our God shall stand forever. Your word will need to live for, Lord. Because the word, the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even the two, the divine son of the soul and the spirit of the joints. And the morrow is a center of the thoughts and intents of the heart, as you say in Hebrews 4.12. That first one was Isaiah 48. Thank you, Jesus. Please, God is all ready to all. Be with me this morning. Thank you so much. Be with us all. Help the boys, whatever they will. Help them get up and have a good day today. The Lord help even work that double. He used the work doubles on Saturday. Lord, help them, Jesus. Let them know you're in control. Please, Jesus, help my boys. Help everybody in this whole wide world. Seek you and seek your strength, seek your face continually, Lord. Please guide us all, direct us all. In your name we pray. Amen. Go right there. Hey, Mr. Jimmy. Good morning to you, sir. God. Ooh, he is amazing. Now, Paul, one more second. Well, guys and guys, let's follow the, let's not follow the crowd, but Jesus. Let's not follow this crowd, but Jesus. I'll read this verse one more time. Thou shalt not raise a false report, but not thine hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Are we going to be an unrighteous witness or are we going to be living for the Lord and being a good witness for Him? We need to be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou as made for the Lord thy God is with thee. With us wherever thou goest. As said back in Joshua 1 9. Yes, sir. Amen, Mr. Jimmy. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. We don't need to follow these crowds. Like, let's not follow the crowd, but Jesus. 
Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. We don't need to be following the crowd, guys and gals. We got to be strong and of good courage. Let's not twist the word. We need to study to show thyself approved, a workman unto God. Let's study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. As we need to divide the word of truth, King James Bible. We need to read it, learn it, love it, live it, and share it. We need to dig in and try not to sin. It's all about Jesus, guys. Yeah, I know I say that over and over and over, but it's so true. We can't, we can't be getting away from His Word, as I have many times in my life. My, in my life, if you, if you read my testimony, I put it on there every now and then. I share it with many people. God is amazing. We need to walk with the wise man, guys and guys, and be wise. We need to walk with the wise man. Be wise and go to Proverbs. Thought I had a mark. I mean, I think I did. I think I did. I did not. I did not have it. Marked. And go to Proverbs 13 20. I'm sorry about that, guys. Don't you love that wrestling sound and wrestling other pages? That means we run, we learn it when we need to dig in and try not to see him. Because he that walketh with wise men shall be wise. But a he that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. You hear that in thirteen twenty of Proverbs. We need to stop walking with all these unwise folks. We need to seek Jesus. Let's not follow the crowd, but Jesus. That's our topic this morning. Let's not follow the crowd, but Jesus. He is in control. Let's not hang with the false and wicked folks. Let's not hang with them false and wicked folks. Now I gotta go back to where I was at. Exodus. Exodus 23. Okay. One number seven. 23 number seven. Keep thee far from a false matter, and, and the innocent and righteous slay that thou not. For I will not justify the wicked. He's not going to justify the wicked. We are the just, the saved individuals in this world. We need to be different. We are to be holy as he is holy. Be holy in all manner of conversation. Be a peculiar person out there in this ungodly, sinful, temporary world. We need to love the Lord. And follow after no other gods. We need to follow after Jesus Christ. There is no other gods. All the other false, false, false gods out there. The people of Allah, Buddha, Muhammad. No, no. They're all in the grave. They're dead. Jesus is alive in heaven. Sitting beside, sitting beside, beside the Father. Waiting, being in the intercession. Being in the intercession for us. He, when we sin, Jesus, Jesus blood, my, my, my blood's covering that. My brother, I covered that. So we, we're all sinners. We must be born again. Now, marvel not that a saying of thee, you must be born again. It says in John 3, 7. And then Acts 4, 12 is, there is none other name under heaven given to all men whereby we must be saved, guys. We must be saved every single day of our lives. And when we love the Lord and follow after no other gods. And we can go to number 13, Acts 23, 13. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect and make no mention of the name of other gods neither let it be be heard out of thy mouth we don't need to be talking about other gods it says right here and in all things i have said unto you be circumspect and make no mention of, uh, of the name of other gods neither let it be heard out of thy mouth we need to stop be following all this Idolatry. It's idolatry. Following people. Like, oh, he's a celebrity. He so he got all that money, money, money. Love money is the root of all evil, guys. Material things rust and decay. Thieves break through and steal. Put your treasure in heaven. But the things do not rust and decay. But thieves do not break through and steal. For where your treasure is, your heart will be also. It says like in that Matthew not Matthew six nineteen through twenty one. And the love of money is the root of all evil. That is Second Timothy. My mind just went blank on that one. Phil Pay put it up here to me. Hey, good morning, brother. Good morning, Miss, Miss uh, Natasha. Good morning to you. 16, 1 Timothy 16 is the root of all, the money is the root of all evil, guys. And guess I gotta go. Be, help me be careful as I gotta travel to go uh, make, a, make a little money to where I can keep, keep, keep afloat. You know what I mean? I gotta keep floating. I can't just sink. But God's got a plan. Maybe I can go my, I'm, I'm about to principal testimonies out here shortly. I'm, 
had no testimony there in Tennessee and then again in Mississippi. Let people know about Jesus. That's my job. That's our job. It's not all, just my job. It's your job too, Christian. What's that? Let people know about Jesus. What's let people know about Jesus? Yes, sir. I remembered it. Thank you for putting that up there. We go. We go to Matthew 22. Says we need to love the Lord and follow after no other gods. As I was saying in Matthew. Well, I got it's 22, 37 through 39. I know I got it pretty much memorized, but there's a lot that's in there that is not. Love the Lord thy God with all the heart, soul, and mind. 22, 37 through 39. Right here, what it says Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, all thy soul, and all thy mind. And this is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it love thy neighbors as thyself. We need to love our neighbors as ourselves, guys. Hello, Mr. Jenkins, Mr. Jimmy. God bless you, brother. Cause I'm gonna go back to Exodus. Go back to Exodus. I told you, I told you to hold there. I hope I already did. Um, I goofed like everybody. Else. Now we're going to Exodus 20 through 22. 23, 20 through 22. Yeah. One second. Excuse me. Y'all pause for a second. Yes, sir. It also is, and then thank you, buddy. That's just when I got twenty through twenty-two right here. Exodus twenty-three, twenty through twenty-two. Here, behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Do you hear that? He's got angels watching over us, guys. I thought, okay, my mama, my mama in heaven, my aunt Jean. I think I got angels. My sister Tammy. I hope, hopefully, she's in heaven. But please, y'all, please, y'all, please. Number 21, beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. Because angels watch over us. So we need to obey the word. We need to obey the word. As it right here, behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. He's prepared a place for us, so we need to follow his rules, follow his guidelines, and B-I-B-L-E, that's the book for me. Basic instructions before leaving the earth, when you dig in every day, guys and gals. So let's not, let's not compromise sin or follow after false gods, okay? We're going to go to 32 through 30, 33. Let's not compromise, let's not compromise sin and follow after false gods because thou shalt make no covenant with them nor with their god we don't need to be okay in sin oh it's all right it's legal now no it's not it's not in god's book it's legal in the united states of america or legal in this world for man to marry a man for a woman to marry a woman but it's not god's god's book no it's not okay for abortion either it's not it's not okay when he when he to seek the lord his strength seek his face continually follow after his book be holy as he is holy. Be holy in all manner of conversation. It says in First Peter one fifteen and one sixteen. Number thirty two and thirty three. Thou shalt not make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. They shall not dwell in thy land, unless they make thee sin against me. For if thou serve their gods, it will surely be a snare unto thee. You hear that? It, for if thou serve their gods, it will surely be a snare unto thee. We don't want to be a snare unto our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We want to follow His rules, His instruction book, basic instructions before leaving where earth, the Bible. You guys, you guys, the Bible, y'all. I think I got a little song for y'all. I want to sing that little song first. B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. Stand alone on the Word of God. B-I-B-L-E. Bibles all by him. Guys, y'all please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all focus on you and your word, Lord. Help us not to get distracted away from your word, Lord. Your words are what's going to last forever. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but your words shall not pass away. Your words are what we need to live, Lord. Lord. Help us not to get distracted by this ungodly, simple, temporary world to manipulate us, confuse us, and distract us, Lord. Control us, and it will destroy us if we let it, Lord. Help us, help us focus on you. In your word. Please guide us all, direct us all, help me here as I sing this morning. Help the boys, whatever they plan on doing. My flesh and blood, Lord, please help the kids, Lord. Help them follow you. Help 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 them not get distracted by this this world. This world's trying to pull people away from you, Lord. That's what this world's doing. 
but help us all be of good cheer. You have overcome the world. He's just saying, John 15, 16, 33. Help us, Jesus. Help me hear as I sing. In your precious holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Guess he is number one. Because I believe in God the Father. I believe in Christ the Son. I believe in God our Father. I believe in Christ the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God is three in one. I should listen to that song ahead of time, but sometimes like we believe in God the Father. We believe in Jesus Christ. We believe in the Holy Spirit. He has given us new life. We believe in a crucifixion. We believe that he conquered death. We believe in the resurrection. Who is coming back? He's coming back again. Who we believe? Yes, Lord Jesus. We believe in you, Lord. Amen. Come on, guys. Yeah, let's focus on Jesus. Let's get saved. If we're not saved already. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father. But by me, as he says in John fourteen six. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, which was and which is and which is to come. The Almighty, it says in like Revelations 1 8. So let's get saved, guys. While we're not that saying that you must be born again. Whosoever shall live a God alive in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So let's be strong and have good courage out there, guys. Be not afraid. Neither be that as, be that as made for the Lord thy God with thee, whithersoever thou goest. That's 2 Timothy 3 12 and Joshua 1 9. And one more time. Let's seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face continually. It says in 1 Chronicles 16 11. God is almighty. Guys, he is in the beginning. Well, what happened in the beginning? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. For John 1, 1. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have, whoo but have everlasting life. This is like John three sixteen. So let's focus on his Word, guys. Let's not get distracted by this world. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you all. Early, early. Bye-bye.